There are so many problems with this photo. First of all, it's obviously never okay to do blackface. And secondly, if you are gonna darken your skin, at least get the color right, okay? <laughs> yeah, Trudeau isn't dressed as Aladdin. He's dressed as Aladdin doing blackface. That's not the color of Aladdin. What are you doing? <laughs> And also, Trudeau didn't even need the brown face to make the costume work. He's in a full Aladdin outfit at an Arabian Nights-themed party. No one was gonna see him and be like, huh, white skin. Are you the snowman from Frozen? <laughs> so Time Magazine published this photo of uh, Canada's Prime Minister <laughs> in brown face. And, uh, and in response, Trudeau hopped on his magic carpet and flew straight to a press conference to apologize. In 2001, I was a teacher out in Vancouver. I attended an end-of-year gala where the theme was Arabian Nights. And I uh, dressed up in an Aladdin costume and put makeup on. It was something that uh, I didn't think was racist at the time, but now I recognize um, it was something racist to do. I've always, uh, and you'll know this, been uh, more enthusiastic uh, about costumes uh, than uh, is somehow, uh, is sometimes appropriate. Trudeau says he also wore blackface for a high school performance where he sang the Harry Belafonte song, Deo. When I was in high school, I uh, dressed up at a uh, talent show uh, and sang Deo. In, well, with, 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 uh, with makeup on. Yeah, this is not good, man. Because <laughs> you realize what happened here. Trudeau came out to apologize for one blackface and ended up admitting to more. <laughs> He's like, I did brownface for Aladdin and I did blackface when I sang the song Deo. And now, if you'll excuse me, daylight's coming and me one go home. <laughs> it's also... It's also funny... It's also funny how Trudeau says he only did this because he's more enthusiastic about costumes than is appropriate. <laughs> because besides being problematic, it also sounds like Justin Trudeau would be the most annoying person on Halloween. <laughs> it's like, if he commits that much, I bet his wife is like, Justin, have you seen my keys? He's like, me not Justin, me Hulk. <laughs> like, all right, Hulk, have you seen my keys? Hulk, eat keys. Hulk need doctor. <laughs> and look, and look, two instances of blackface would be bad enough. But it turns out we can't even call this a black face controversy anymore because apparently Trudeau has been going full body. Video uncovered by Global News, which has been verified, containing images of liberal leader Justin Trudeau in blackface makeup. It's pretty grainy. We are looking at Justin Trudeau in this video. You can see that he has blackface makeup on. It's covering his face, neck, his arms and hands, and you can see between the tears in his jeans there that he also appears to have the makeup down his legs as well. He has it on his leg. Like, he's wearing jeans. <laughs> But he still did the legs? This guy's committed. <laughs> no, because most people do the face. But Trudeau was like black neck, uh, black back, black pussy, and black crack. <laughs> He's like, I'm doing all of it. I mean, aside from the obvious offensiveness of it, having black makeup on your entire body must have caused a lot of problems as well. Like, think about it. Like, the whole day, what, you're leaving makeup on doorknobs? Are you getting it on food? It must have been terrifying for any white person he met who didn't know he was in blackface. Yeah, because if you touch them, then you leave a black handprint on them. <laughs> and white people are panicking. They're like, oh, my God, I think black people make other people black. Oh, my God! <laughs> I heard about this on Facebook. <laughs> so with the Canadian election just one month away, many are wondering if this blackface scandal is gonna hurt Trudeau's chances of being reelected. And to be honest, I'm just sad to see another black man being brought down. <laughs> it breaks my heart. You know, when you look at Trudeau and, and all these new stories of blackface coming out every day, at some point, we have to admit that this problem is bigger than some people would like to believe, right? From the governor of Virginia to multiple TV stars and every frat party in town, it seems that when white people get their hands on brown makeup, they just cannot help themselves. <laughs> so we need to treat this like the epidemic that it is. Which is why today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm proposing a buyback program to get blackface <laughs> off the streets. I also think we need red flag laws. If you hear your white friend talking about buying an Afro wig for the school talent show, we need to stop that before it happens. 
And for those people who already have a blackface photo that hasn't come out yet, we need to have one day of amnesty where you can put it out online without getting canceled. And don't use this as an excuse to make new blackface photos, okay? I see you, white people. <laughs> Old photos only. Don't abuse the amnesty day. And last but not least, we need makeup companies to start taking responsibility for the products they sell. Clearly, these things are dangerous. So from now on, all those makeup ads need to be a lot more like this. I want a makeup that's made for me. I want a makeup that speaks to the truth of my color. And I want to look like a black person. Um, I don't think you want to do that. No? No. And with the new All Shade palette, I can find the shade that fits my tone. It's not just makeup, it's who I am. And I want to go as Fresh Prince for Halloween. Swear to God, if you put that on. Huh? Okay, so look at this color palette right here. You're gonna want to stay on this side of the palette. Mm -hmm. Maybe at a long day at a beach, you'd be maybe right here, but mm. that's about it. I see, actually, because of the racism. Yes. Fenty Beauty. Don't do blackface.